You had a fascinating uh, interview just a couple of days ago that got a lot of attention with Kellyanne Conway. And uh, many of us who've watched Kellyanne Conway, and again, I'm trying to almost take politics out of this, just as performance well, art. I just say, yeah. you don't have to. I mean, facts and truth are not partisan. Right. Republicans and Democrats, all, and independents, there are just empirical facts. And we want presidents to tell the truth. Well, here's the interesting thing. And when I say, <laughs> I agree. I agree when I say I want to take politics out of it, which is I'm trying to avoid, I'm, I, I, I keep thinking there must be some way that we can agree on something, you know, as a nation. Uh, and what you have just brought up, I think, is the point of agreement, which there should be just, this is true and this is not true, once we've, you know, gotten through it. But if you look at someone like a Kellyanne Conway and she is, uh, and you're interviewing her, it's called pivoting, she pivots. And so you, at, you hold up an orange and say, isn't this an orange? And she says, that's not the issue. Uh, we're talking about apples. And it's this way to never get someone to say uh, whether something is true or false. As a viewer, it's maddening. I thought you did a very good job of trying to pin her down. And it got to a very bizarre point where she kind of admitted, didn't she? Well, it, was, it, was, it was definitely odd. It was, a, it was an interesting interview. And to uh, my boss's credit, he just said, keep going, blow out the commercials. Let's just keep going with this interview. But it was a day where President Trump had said that the murder rate was the highest it had been in 47 years. And that's just not true. It's just false. Um, the murder rate was much higher in the 80s and 90s. I mean, mm -hmm. there's no data that supports what he said. Um, but there had been other things he said. The day before, he had said that the media doesn't cover terrorism anymore. I spent like two weeks in Paris covering terrorism. I mean, uh, two different times. So right. there were just empirical lies that the president was telling. And I was challenging her on them. She wasn't really disputing it. Then at one point, she said something to the effect of, well, because I, I was just saying, you know, the president keeps saying these things and they're not true and this matters. And she says, okay, but do those things he says that aren't true, are they more important than the things he says that are true? <laughs> yeah, that was, a, that was a moment where what? I really did feel like we had gone through a time warp where she was conceding, <laughs> yes, he says, he does lie, he, tells, he says things that aren't true, but also uh, you're not paying enough attention to this, the things he does say that are true, and you felt like that was a massive admission uh, we'd, that we'd crossed some kind of weird line that we had never crossed before. Well, it was just, yeah, first of all, I'd never heard anybody in the administration admit that he'd been saying all these things that aren't true. And Sean Spicer's entire career in the press room is, is there to tell people that black is white and night is day and, and he's the best president that ever lived. Um, and that's what the daily briefings are like. But yeah, she had conceded it, but also it's just such a bizarre formulation. What about all the lies that Nixon didn't tell? Yeah, what? yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> what are you right. talking about? Right. What about all the presidents that John Wilkes Booth didn't kill? Yeah. <laughs> what? You know, to be fair, there are a lot he didn't kill. Uh, you, there's a great meme that's been going around of your uh, WTF face during the Kellyanne Conway interview. <laughs> 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 Looks like you just drank some sour milk. <laughs> <laughs> Can I ask you quickly about... I, just, I, I, yeah. I don't make these faces on purpose. This is just my face. We've been out to dinner. You know I spend half the, the time you and I are having dinner making that face. Yeah, I know. Yeah. <laughs> I, know why, I don't know why you keep having dinner with me. You never seem to enjoy it. That's, <laughs> that's all I see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> That, that's, the, that's the point where you're picking up the soup bowl. <laughs> There's a little bit left in here.